My name is Kyle Ackerman. I'm a senior and I'm going to be graduating in May 2014, so this upcoming May. I want you to describe to me what it means to be a psychology major. What is psychology? Um, okay, well, uh, I guess the psychology major is kind of, it really is versatile in that, you know, you're really studying people so you're doing a lot of interactions with people you're doing a lot of understanding of behavior and certain kind of aspects of why people do stuff and why people are kind of uh, acting the way that they do so I guess a lot of the studying and a lot of the content is kind of geared towards a lot of different aspects of mental health mm -hmm. so uh, you know behavioral analysis and then you know you look at like cognitive diseases and stuff so you know mental illnesses and stuff like that um, and that's really the bulk of the studying that we do, but I guess the psych major as a whole kind of really touches on a lot to do with uh, human interaction. So why would someone want to choose psychology? What kind of interests would they have? Um, yeah. you, know, who, you know, who would be the best psychology majors? I guess the best psychology majors would be people who are looking to uh, study people or who are looking to uh, interact with people and understand how human interaction works. So really anybody who's kind of, uh, I don't know, interested in people or knows that they want to go into a field where they're going to have a lot of person-to-person uh, -person interaction, well, psychology is, uh, you know, kind of the major that you could go to. You talked a little bit about just now. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, someone who wants to go into a field, what kind of careers would someone who is looking at psychology as a major, yeah. what, what fields would they be looking to go into? Yeah, um, I mean, someone who's going to be going into psychology, definitely a lot of, uh, I guess there's a lot of fields, you know, it is a very versatile degree. Um, I guess you can go into counseling, there's the counseling aspect of that. Um, I'm going to be taking on medicine and uh, family medicine has a huge interaction with people because, you know, you're consulting with clients on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, anything in human resources and stuff like that where you need to be able to kind of advise people and help, um, psychology is pretty good for that. So uh, there's quite a few fields that you can kind of touch on. Okay, so tell me a little about, about you. Um, how did you become a psychology major? I became a psychology major because I'm a student athlete. Um, so I played soccer at IPFW for four years, and uh, I wanted—I knew I always wanted to go into medicine, but um, and I always wanted to be a family doctor. But I didn't understand all the biologies, and there's a lot of content in biology and stuff like that. Um, I didn't really think I could balance both those. Uh, I know biology is a lot more memorization. You need a little bit more time. So uh, I tried to find a major that would basically, you know, still let me go into medicine, but would still kind of touch on my interests. And I definitely found psych to be that in that, you know, I like interacting with people and I like understanding how that works. So, and I could still take that major and study stuff that I was interested in while uh, doing all the requirements for pre-medical studies so I could go to med school. So that was kind of the avenue that I took. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit more about like some of the extracurriculars that you've done? Yeah. Um, I mean, just being involved through psych, I've had uh, tons of different opportunities to volunteer and kind of do a lot of studies. So I'm currently helping Dr. D. Clementi with her hypnosis study, which is uh, with the student athletes. So seeing their susceptibility for hypnosis, which is kind of interesting. Um, the mental health aspect has, on campus has been huge, so there's been just a lot of different uh, incentives going forward. And I've been helping out with the Project Compass. Yeah, that's really neat that you were able to tie your status as sort of the student athlete yeah. in with your studies. I think I think it's uh, I think it's definitely been pretty cool how I've been able to you know tie in the fact that you know I'm a student athlete, so I've you know I get to kind of touch and be in a certain circle of you know the athletic faculty, but at the same time I'm a student, so I kind of used my uh, that advantage I guess I'd say I had to uh, you know do as much good as possible. Did you find that it was difficult to maintain like the scholarly part with the athletic Ac part? I think the uh, I think the academic faculty and the athletic faculty do a lot to kind of facilitate that. So they help you schedule classes, and you know if you're having any troubles in classes, you know they can try and pull strings and see if you can get a tutor and stuff like that. But I think uh, a lot of it kind of boils down to time management. So I learned that pretty early on that you need to be really focused, and uh, you need to realize that while there are distractions that seem a lot more fun, um, it's definitely more <laughs> you definitely benefit more by just doing your work and kind of getting everything done on time because it does add up fast and you can find that you're stressed. So
So uh, advice, do you have advice for students just coming into the psychology department or their major? I mean, are there things you wish you would have known? I think I would have, uh, I wish I, could, I would have approached my professors and my advisors a lot earlier than I did. I was kind of late to start talking to my academic advisors because like all students, I think I know everything and I think I can just uh, handle everything on my own. But I think, uh, I mean, looking back on everything, had I reached out to my professors, you know, discussed stuff and bounced ideas off them a lot sooner, I probably would have uh, had a lot easier time balancing things. So I guess my advice would be uh, don't be afraid of talking to your professors because they're always here to help and they're really, really friendly, especially in the psychology department. What are your plans after graduation? What do you want to do now? Well, I'm an international student, so uh, I plan on going back home. I live in Canada. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be taking a year off to work, make a bit of money, and maybe do some traveling. And then uh, I'd like to get into medical school. So my hopeful plan is that by next year, I'll be uh, heading to medical school to study to be hopefully uh, in some sort of field of family medicine.